Hello, it's Vanessa from Crafts and Keys, and today I'm going to show you how I make my small witches besoms. These are so much fun to make, and you can get really creative with what you want to add to them too. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I make my mini besoms that you may have seen on my website or my Etsy storefront. For these, I use natural palm materials that I personally forage here in SoCal. Before I get started, I want to say that if you don't have these specific materials, you can always use what is local to you or what you have that is similar or handy, such as a charm from a necklace or whatever you have that is convenient to you. For the wood material, go with a natural wood that is sturdy and dry for the stick portion of the broom. And for the bristles, go with a material that is similar to your stick, such as maybe pine straw, a long grass, or maybe even some smaller twigs. You can always do a little foraging or you can check out Pinterest for more ideas. I think that the dried flowers add a soothing energy to the besom and an aesthetic touch to the overall design. While these are great to add, they're not necessary. And hey, if you have artificial flowers laying around, those would work just fine too. Work with what you have. So let's get started. For creating the mini besom, you will need one stick that is about 6 inches in length and about the diameter of your pinky finger, a handful of materials that you will be using for your bristles, about 36 inches of natural hemp cording or a similar sturdy cording, 1-3 to three stems of flowers such as baby breath and a charm of choice and the jump ring. Other materials that are helpful include pliers for your jump ring, cutters for your branches, and super glue for extra security. After you've gathered your material, you're going to take the cording and lay it flat and horizontally on the table or ground like so. Leave it aside for now. Take your bristle material and start to line it in your palm top side up. Make sure you're lining it evenly as you gather it. After you've gathered several bristle pieces, take your broomstick and place it within the bristles. You will keep gathering the bristles now and place them by rotating them around your broomstick like so. Once you have all your bristles placed evenly around your broomstick, take a final look to be sure that your stick is centered within the bristles. This next part takes a little patience and can be a little finicky, so go as slow as you need. You will take your broomstick and bristles and place them in the center of the cording while still in your palm. Do your best not to let go of the stick and bristles. Take one end of the cording and bring it over the top of the broomstick about one inch down from the bristles. Next, take the other side of the cording and cross it over the hemp cording that is already laid across the broomstick. You're going to form an overhand knot as tightly as you can. A tip that I have learned for this is to keep your finger or thumb pressed onto the initial loop. That way the tightness is kept while you are securing that second loop in the knot. Now you have the basic formation of the besom. We're going to secure the flowers on next. What you'll do is turn your besom over so that the knot you just tied is lined towards the back of the broom. Next, take your flowers and place them how you like on the front. I tend to put mine off center just a little so that the charm isn't laying right on top of them when I'm finished. 
Next, you'll want to secure these on by tying a square knot around the broom. If you're not familiar with how to tie a square knot, you might want to stick with securing it with a basic overhand just as done previously. Do this on the back side as we just did. Square knots though, they will usually make this a lot more secure, so I highly suggest using one of these. I am going to slow down the process on the video so that this part is clear. Once the flowers are secure, the charm can be added. This should be done on the side of the knot that you will be forming the loop on. Slide the charm on and use your thumb to keep it centered in the front while you form another square knot. We're almost done. Turn your besom over and secure it with one final overhand knot. You can use the same securing technique with pressing the initial loop with your thumb. You can do one final trim of the top of the stems and also don't forget to trim the back of your cording. And you did it! Now you have a beautiful handmade mini besom that you can be proud of. I would love to see your creations. Made it? Upload it to IG and tag me at Crafts and Keys. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more upcoming tutorials and more nature inspired pagan decor. Stay well, be safe, and I will connect again soon. Bye.